Hello and welcome to another random video. This time I'm going to be reviewing a micro mini fridge. So, um, I work in an office and I wanted something to keep something small cool. So, for example, a bottle of water or some chocolate. And uh, most normal mini fridges are still fairly big. Um, but I wanted something that would actually fit on my desk and so I was looking online and um, they sell some micro USB powered fridges so I got one um, this was £25 off of eBay so uh, we will see how this goes so uh, I do like the um, the bits on the bottom here Windows XP supported online support um, yeah, so, I mean, you can see a bottle of beer in here, um, turn it round, so that's what it looks like, it's a uh, sort of, pretends to look like an American sort of fridge, um, USB bit there, turn around on the back, um, so we'll just uh, show you what it's saying here, so four feet USB cable, um, I like the minimum system requirements as well. <laughs> PC and Macintosh platforms requires 100 megabytes hard disk space. So that's a uh, you don't actually need to install anything. I don't know even why it says that. It's quite amusing. Um, and then uh, yeah, the only way to keep your drink cold while you're at a computer it looks cool on a desktop. I don't know if they meant it as a pun or not, but uh, no dear. Um, so yeah, let's open this and see what it looks like. Okay, so I open it up, you have this cardboard at the top and bottom to protect it. It comes in bubble wrap, so I take this out. So move the box to the side. So this is the fridge itself, so if I put it out and turn it the right way up. So this is it. So look on the back, so you've got a fan. Um, what well, looks like a heater as well. Um, I don't know if you can really make that out. Um, so it's got like a heat sink in it. Um, this is the USB cable itself. It's got a, uh, a cl uh, one of those tie things to keep it all together. There's USB, and there's two functions here. So I've had a look into this. I think one of them's for um, heat, one of them's for cold. So I think number two is cold. I've done a little test of it before I did this video. Um, now what's quite impressive is actually what capacity it can take in here because it looks quite small but if I actually open up the door like it's properly uh, like it you have the whole um, height of it to use like it's not um, padded out or anything really so yeah you can use the whole space um, I've actually got a rule here as well so we can do a um, a measurement of it so if I put it on its side here and uh, get the ruler so let us see um, so that's zero centimeters get it nice and lined up so 24 centimeters in height so a better um, I'll do a better comparison here so I've got a Lucas 8 500 mil bottle so I'll put that in and uh, then you can see um, properly like, how much capacity it can take all right, so that's it open. So this is Lucas Aid 500 mil bottle. So uh, if I turn it round, you can see for sure. So um, there it says 500 mil. So this is just full of water at the moment. Stick that in. It fits in pretty much perfectly in there, and then you can shut the door. There you go. So that is roughly how much it will take. And uh, you have a little bit more space at the top where you can put stuff in. One downside, though, is the um, width. So if I were to take the ruler again and uh, measure the width, let me just grab that in a sec. Okay, so here I have a uh, sort of medium-sized glass. Um, but if I try and put this in, you'll see it definitely struggles there. And it sort of bends the side a bit when it goes in. Um, you can see it also pokes out a bit, so that's not going to fit. Um, if I get a slightly smaller glass, so for example, this one, let's see if this fits. So just about, it pokes out a little bit, but there is a little bit of leeway in that door, so you can sort of see there is a bit of space there. So that is should 
or not. No, that doesn't quite close, so uh, that is unfortunate. So yeah, glasses don't really work in this, that's just a bit too small. You really want a bottle of water or cans. So for example, let me grab a can just to confirm they do fit. All right, so got our standard 330 mil can. So let's just confirm it definitely is 330 mil. Yep, there you see it. Stick that in. Yep, that fits without any problem at all and yep yeah, fits perfectly and like on the picture you can actually stack two of them together if you really wanted to so you can see there is room for another one on the top so that is one use another use which I think I would probably use it for is well my desk I tend to use a Lucozade bottle for my water so I would just have this in there and have it nice and cool Otherwise, if you didn't want to do that, you could also keep something like chocolate in it. So for example, let me show you what I'm in. Okay, so here are some chocolates. Now I can just grab it. Basically, you want to have something that won't, that doesn't necessarily require um, to be refrigerated all the time, but you want something that can, um, that would taste nice when it is refrigerated. So for example, these. So you can stick them in. You want a container really, so what I would say is, uh, let's just see, um, for example this, you can stick them in that, and then um, that sort of small cup can then go in the fridge, and um, then you don't you don't get the mess. So yeah, that's, um, there are some good uses for it, um, so other than that, let's uh, give it a try and see how effective it is as a fridge and I think it also has a heating option as well so there's two modes um, the box doesn't come with any instructions so I am kind of having to just uh, guess how this works um, you only get the cardboard packaging and that's basically it so yeah we'll see how this goes alright so I've plugged in the fridge so you can see it's plugged into a USB um, adapter and it plugs into here. So there's two modes, as I said. Um, so the first mode, if I press this, so can't really see anything happening. The fan ain't spinning. I'm guessing this is the heat mode. Um, and then if I switch it back to off, and then I switch it to number two, you will see that the fan starts to spin. So I don't know if I can get a good uh, view of it. I don't know if you can hear that spinning now. So I believe that is the fridge mode. Um, the other way that I think you can tell is if I open the door. Um, so you can see in here there's a little LED on the, just there. So if I were to set this mode to... Uh, let's just see if I can uh, show it both in shot. Let me just... Uh, Okay, here we go. So number one, red, which means hot, I think. Number two is green for cold. Um, so how this works, I believe, is um, the fan at the back will blow cool air um, through these holes. Um, so the heat sink is going to take out the heat and that's why it makes it cold. It sort of fills up the chamber with cool air. The heat mode, I believe, is because around the back you have... Uh, that bit there, I believe, is a heater. So that's the fan with the heat sink, and that's the heater element. So yeah, that's how you can get both. I have no idea how hot it can get on the heat mode. Um, so what I'm going to do as an experiment is I have got a thermometer here. So here we go. So currently 23.8 degrees Celsius, it says. So I think I'm going to stick that in and let it run on fridge mode for a bit and we'll see how long it takes and how low it will get and then we can do the same for the hot mode and so yeah that would be interesting to see. So I'll we'll do that now and we will come back and see. Right so we have a bit of a problem so I can't actually fit this in the fridge it's a bit too thick. So as a workaround what I've done is um, installed a temperature monitor app on another phone. Um, 
and uh, this will have, I mean it's not going to be perfect, but it should give an indication at least of um, roughly how long um, it takes to cool down. So uh, yeah, not perfect, but should be good enough. Um, so yeah, I'll stick this in and um, I'll turn off the screen of course. So it starts on about 27 to 24 degrees, so um, you can see the time at the moment is 1.52 p.m. So I'll turn off the screen, stick this in the fridge, and let's see how we go. Alright, I'll uh, set this to cold mode, so uh, if we have a look we'll see, yep, got the green light in there. So let's come back to this in about 20 minutes or so and see how it's doing. One more useful thing just while it's uh, doing its sort of fridge mode is just hearing um, the noise level. It's actually very quiet. So if I just put the uh, microphone right by it, so you, all you can hear is the fan. So it's not a proper fridge in terms of the cryogenic gas, it's nothing as fancy as that. It literally is basically more like a computer um, heatsink. So you've got the fan and the uh, conductive, well, temperature conductive metal that's just blowing. Well, yeah, it's pulling in air from the outside, blowing it past that metal, which is cooling it down and then circulating it inside which is going to bring down the internal temperature so yeah let's uh, come back to this once it's uh, cool and we'll see how low it gets one final thing I've almost forgot um, while it's still cooling is uh, measuring the uh, the um, how well thick it is the other way so we've measured the height and the width so it is roughly 12 centimeters in terms of the uh, back to front width so yeah, you got about 24 by uh, by uh, what, 8 by 12. So yeah, that's the dimensions of it. If you're looking for something to fit on a desk, then it should fit on most desks really. It's just going to be a question of will your workplace put up with the noise? I mean, it's not that loud to be honest. I mean, it's not going to be any louder than a desk fan really in the summer. So. Uh, I would think most places should be fine with it as long as it doesn't stand out loads. I mean it looks alright so uh, yeah, we'll see. It is now 3 o'clock so let's see what the temperature is of the phone. So let me just uh, grab it out and uh, well it's gone down a bit, um, it definitely feels cooler. Um, again, it's a very uh, crude way of doing this test. Um, I would say though that it definitely is cooler than um, it was before, because it, again it was more like around, well maybe not, <laughs> it definitely does feel cooler though. Um, so yeah, maybe this was not such a good way to test. Um, but either way, it's definitely cooler than it was. Maybe 21 is a better idea, I don't know. Um, so yeah, apologies, I couldn't really test any better with that because uh, I just don't have a thermometer. Um, I don't think there's any point testing the heat version because uh, I'm going to use this for cooling things rather than for heating things up or keeping things hot. I mean the, the hot option is mainly for things like keeping your coffee hot for longer but again if you can't fit the cup in then what's the point? So yeah I think this is mainly going to be a, something to keep your water bottle a bit cooler for example like your Lucasade or, um, or some chocolate or something so it's, uh, it's still uh, useful to have around and I think it will uh, be useful for me in my for my situation but yeah hopefully you find this useful and um, I'll leave it there